Hi, I'm Phil Bainbridge, and this is a quick tutorial video for the blog post to search Google Drive for owned files. So I've already got a copy of the tool here. There's only one thing that you really need to input, and that is the email address of the account for files that you want to search for that are owned by. So I've already put mine in, but I blanked it out for the purpose of the video. The second box here is just if you know what your app script time scales are that you're allowed to run it for by default it's six minutes so what i've done is set the tool to run for five and a half minutes so that it has chat time to finish cleanly and then you can carry on running it again if it didn't manage to complete on sheet one we're going to have the information about the files appended here so it's going to collectively go through and give us a few clickable links and the name of the file and then as usual, there's also a log sheet so you can keep track of what's happening as well as any pop-ups if there's been a problem. So you can run the tool in two ways by clicking the start button here or also going to the admin menu and search Google Drive. You can of course reset the sheet if you run it and you want to do it again or something goes wrong. So I'm gonna click on the button. I get a little toast pop-up at the bottom right to tell me that it's starting to run. And that's it, it ran quite quickly there. So if we go on to sheet one now, what I can see is a long list of the file names, the IDs, a direct link to each of the files, and then the type of file that it is as well. So if it's a Google Sheet or a form, for instance. So you can collectively now do other kind of bits of app scripting that you've got the file ID it means you can access it and go into that file if you wanted to. If you're interested in how quick and how many files it went through. Um, the log sheet can help you. So that ran for 177 files. And as you can see, it took about three seconds to do that. And that's it. Thank you very much.